Alright guys, out again today. This is new permission. I have a crap load of area to hunt here. You can see the building right down there is a local church in my town um, that has been, this has all been church grounds here since, as far as I know, from about 1878 or so. A huge lot. Um, gotten some good relics and stuff so far. As you can see, I've dug a, a file and a big 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 draft horse shoe but i got a good find here uh right ringing up about uh 38 to 40 on this on the uh, legend you can see the imprint of it right there just popped the plug it was only about three three inches down three four inches down got a little lipstick lipstick case let me brass or copper sorry get that in focus there in the frame there yeah, it could be brass or copper there. That is awesome. All right, let's go on to the next one, guys. I got some other guys going to come back here another day to help me with this. Probably we'll be, we'll be here in the later part of this video. But we'll go on to the next one see what else. All right, guys. Got another cool find here. Uh, another one I haven't ever got before. Got me a little gun here. If I th think. It's just a little toy gun. Little bitty guy. Looks like a little cap gun. What's it say on it there? Give a little pants rub here. It says Captain Jack on it. Obviously not Captain Jack Sparrow, because, you know, they didn't have a 1911 style frame pistols in Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> All right. Looks like it is. Well, the barrel's broke, but... That's cool, guys. Go on to the next one. All right, guys. Don't have an in situ picture because it was literally I couldn't find it in the hole. It was right, literally right on the surface and in the in the roots. But I pulled just pulled a 1919 wheat penny right here. Well, that's pretty cool. Nice greeny. It had to have been from erosion or something because that's that's it was basically a surface find. But all right, we're going to the next one, guys. All right, guys, back at it again today. Sorry for the light heat lighting here. I just got a little piece of a charm of some kind, or something like either charm or a pin or something. Looks like a little, almost like a little figure dancing or something. Not sure what exactly that is. If you have any ideas, let me know down in the comments. All right, we'll go on to the next one. Back out at it again today. Uh, still at the one of my local churches here got permission to another first for me today guys got myself a hem weight about three inches under the ground here nice little lead hem weight probably uh, almost the size of a half dollar around that's awesome we're gonna see if we can find some more old stuff like this okay guys sorry about the wind here if you hear it too much on here back out again local church um, I've hit a bunch of stuff on this property. I haven't had it all on video. Some days I forgot my phone uh, right up here. I've dug a bunch I've dug a bunch of wheat pennies and uh, Nickels and stuff right up here on top of this hill. There used to be an old school right on the side of this hill here between the new building and the church um, I've dug everything from wheat pennies to Indian head pennies to uh, as far back as a shield nickel and buffaloes and V nickels as well and I uh, just got a signal here a minute ago. wasn't very far in the ground. Two, two and a half inches. Got my first silver here at the churchyard. Let's see what that is. Mm, it's going to be a merc. Guys, give me just a minute. I'm going to spray this down. See if we can get a year on it, okay? All right, I'm back, guys. You can see there. That is mercury dime. She's pretty worn. It's got a weird patina to it, almost white. I guess so from the acids in the ground underneath all these oak trees. But you can see there it's a 1926 mercury dime. Sweetness. Let's find some more up here, guys. All right, very next signal. Not, on what, six feet maybe? Right there was the mercury dime. Come right over here. Right next signal, about the same depth. Got a wheat penny. Nineteen 
1920. 1920 wheat penny. Boy, she cleaned it up. Back's cleaned it up good. A lot of green on the front. It looks like the front's going to clean up pretty good, too. All right. Go get some more. All right. I got a uh, solid 40 on a legend here. I'm running the, 11, running the bigger, the 11-inch coil today. I got a solid 40 right in here, and it's only showing about two bars deep, which is not very deep for a coin signal. It's actually probably less than that. I'm hoping, yeah, it's, I mean, it's right under, right under the surface right there. I'm hoping it's cool. I'm hoping it's good. It's right at what some of the Indians have been ringing up up here. So, I'm going to turn my pinpointer off. Use my trowel here. Hand digger. See if we can get around it. And pop it out live here. If it is, hopefully it's something good. There is a coin. There's a coin right there. What have we got? Oh, I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be an Indian. Yeah, you can start seeing him coming, the Indian coming through there. Yeah, look there. One cent with the wreath. That's nice looking, guys. Let me uh, let me toothpick or brush the bottom of it down there. See if we can get a date for you guys. I'll be right back. All right, and I'm back, guys. That's what it is. Nice looking Indian man. That wreath and the one cent and the shield is beautiful on there. And get her turned around here. And there she is. You got it cleaned up a little bit. I'll clean it up more at home. Nice and green on the front side. At night. Sorry about that. Shut phone shaking a little bit. 1902. Sweetness. Let's sign some more up here. Next good signal here. It was uh, ringing up uh, 25, 26, or well, 24 to 26 here on the legend. And uh, it was about three and a half, four inches down. I got a nickel in the hole. I do not know exactly what it is. It could just be a Jefferson, but we're going to find out together. Try not to rub it too much, just in case it is an older one. Is that any? Let's see, what is that? Is that a uh, buffalo nickel? I can't really tell. Yes, yes, it is buffalo nickel. Give it a quick pants rub here. Yeah, buffalo nickel right there. Flips that way. I doubt it's going to have a date on it. <sighs> yeah, I don't think it's going to have a date. If it does, I'll come back with a picture or something like that and insert it here. But all right, another buffalo nickel in the bag, guys.